What up, YouTube? I ain't gonna take up too much time today, but we're just gonna talk about something about how our buildings work. We're in a building downtown. You can see we got a nice bar area here, outdoor area. We got some sunshade. But uh, let's get in here and see what we got. Let's uh, check out how our building works and how our refrigeration cycle works. So I see a lot of guys, especially new guys to the trade, get tripped up when they see water source heat pumps. So there's nothing real special about a water source heat pump. Just the medium that we use to condense our refrigerant or evaporate our refrigerant because we're a water source heat pump and heat pump reverses the refrigeration cycle. All refrigeration units have four major components. Compressor, condenser, evaporator, and expansion device. Every system out there, doesn't matter what it is, freezer, cooler, chiller, all the same. The heat pump cycle's the same. So reversing valve, high gas discharge, comes out into our condenser coil. This is our coaxial condenser, so as the refrigerant flows through here, water flows through here as well and we have basically consider our circulating pump um, consider that your condenser fan motor it has to run to cool the refrigerant off so flowing water through here hot gas discharge goes through the condenser coil condenses to a liquid out as a liquid hits our expansion device in this case TXV and feeds over to the evaporator coil behind that panel there. An the evaporator coil does just what it says, evaporates that liquid refrigerant into a vapor and we return back on our suction line to the compressor. When we reverse that cycle, our condenser coil becomes our evaporator coil and our evaporator coil becomes our condenser coil. So we send hot gas through our now condenser coil and we're able to heat the air. In that case, we our condenser coil turns into our evaporator and we actually will cool our water. So cooling, we're heating our water up and going back to our water loop and heating, we're actually cooling this water down. So how do we get the water up here? in a five-story building and how do we keep that water a certain temperature as we're heating and cooling this water we have to maintain a certain set temperature um, we usually maintain 75 to 80 degrees in cooling uh, around 80 it mimics an 80 degree day outside and heating 75 to 80 is just as well it just mimics a 70 degree, 75 degree day outside that allows us to heat pretty well. So let's go check out how our water gets here. You can see we got stuff everywhere, but these are our main circulating pumps. So these circulate water throughout the building all five floors or so um, we got starters inside of here uh, we have pump one and pump two uh, these sometimes you'll have a lead lag system that changes them automatically I, I've got a tag here it says I changed over in 2020 so basically we don't run an auto uh, we just set them in hand and I'll flip these over every year or so just to give the pump some br a break and let the other pump run. These pumps circulate water up and then our small pumps at each water source heat pump uh, circulates through the coaxial coils. Now when we're in the heat mode we are projecting our heat to the or to the evaporator we're actually cooling that water so we have to keep that water warm 
to allow our units to heat. This is our boiler here. You can see we're about 76 degrees down here. Like I said, that's about what we maintain, 75 to 80. Um, so in the heating mode, this keeps our water warm and we keep circulating that warm water through the building and allow our units to heat. I'm not gonna talk about all this. This is all domestic water here, pump storage tanks. Um, so this heats our water when we're rejecting our heat to the condensers, where do we put our heat? We gotta keep that water fairly cool. So let's go check it out. So here is how we keep our water cool. We got a cooling tower. This is our sump here, uh, two stages. Thermostat inside of here senses the outlet water temperature and pump comes on at say 80 degrees, 82 degrees. As the water continues to warm up, we got a fan motor up there that draws air through to help cool that water down more. And we maintain around that 80 degree water which mimics about an 80 degree day outdoors on our condensers inside. So, pretty simple process when you know how it works. Uh, these, this is our main water feed, and there are tubes, there goes our fan. There are smaller tubes inside there that the water pumps up top, and trickles down, and cools the water off that way. So, that's how that works. Not a real complicated cycle. I see guys get tripped up on it sometimes. So, again, not a long video. There's the building next door's cooling tower. They're gonna have the same deal. A lot of your downtown buildings are gonna have these things, so know how they work, know how your building works. Leave the trade better than you found it. Leave me a comment, hit the thumb. We'll see you guys on the next one.